my wife and I, uh, <laughs> would like to thank each and every one of you for being part of this incredibly special day. It's so good to have everyone here in this room after so many false summits and so many days of what might have been. Um, it's a day that we thought would be in 2020, in June, in, in October, in July, and we jumped to August and we got married. But we, we couldn't go without celebrating with you all. So thank you so much for, for being here today. I've also got to thank my best men, Richard and Daniel. Um, these two guys have been with me for years now. They've been there for me. You guys have no idea how much of a blessing you mean to me. I've, I've, difficult moments in life, uh, fine moments in life, you brought me so much joy and happiness and laughter. I love you guys and I can't thank you enough for everything and for your help today. I really appreciate it. Um, for, my, for my two groomsmen as well, Sean and Phil, my two brothers, love you guys. Um, it's, it's awesome to have you guys as brothers because growing up, you know, I did, did, did wonder what it would be like and you guys have showed us a pretty, it's a pretty good thing to have brothers actually, it's not that bad. Your, your wisdom and everything has been awesome. Uh, thank you for your help um, with everything today and, and so much more. And for my own family, um, yeah, thank you guys for your love, for your care, for your provision. Yeah, I can't, I can't put into words how much. I love you guys. Um, when, you, when you get married, it's, it's an interesting thing because you, in some way, think you've kind of crossed the finish line, you've reached a destination. But there's one thing I've learned this year is that we are, we are far from that. <laughs> I think that's, that's more for me than for Sarah. We've just stepped into marriage, we're just getting started. And there's, there's so much more to come. Either way, we've spent a lot of time together this past year. And Sarah, time and time again, you have been so inspirational to me in, to, in, in, the, in the way you live, in the way you love and care for others, in the way that you've been patient with me and love me day in, day out. But as I said, we're just getting started in married life. And I'm, I'm really excited to see what the years ahead will hold uh, for us and in the life that lies ahead. Um, even in one year, we've gotten to know each other's funny quirks, but we've also developed a deeper knowledge of each other. The beauty of love is the security and peace that you have. That someone knows you, they know the good and the bad, they know your quirks, they know your, your frailties, they know your, your failures, they know your hunger, whatever it is, but they love you and they bear with you. As you unravel, as you become more vulnerable, they love you still. In fact, maybe they love you more. And, and Sarah has shown that to me time and time again this year. I hope and I pray that our marriage is a glimpse of what that love can be. Um, and sacrificing and giving up for one another is another tough but amazing part of marriage. Learning to serve, learning to forgive, learning, learning to love one another. I am so excited that we're just getting started on all that. Um, so a year in review in marriage, I've learned a lot about myself. I'm, I'm so truly loved by Sarah. Um, I'm encouraged by her daily. Um, I'm challenged, I'm joyful. Sarah, I'm truly, truly grateful for you. Now last year in my speech I spoke about wanting Sarah to be the one there in the good and in the tough times, in the moments of joy, in the moments of laughter, of brokenness and sorrow, of, of all that life holds, the, the, the rich tapestry of life. I wanted Sarah by my side and, and this past year she has been there for me and so much more in so many amazing ways. We've laughed loads, we have shared loads of amazing memories, got so many amazing memories with family and friends. Um, Sarah has been there for me. We've been there for each other and she's encouraged me. She has lifted me up, she's given me perspective on life. She's stood by me through thick and thin. And it's amazing to know that I've got this amazing woman by my side for life. And we know there will be tough times. Um, we know there's, there's plenty more that this life will hold. Um, but I'm so glad I get to walk through it with Sarah. And I said it last year and I'll say it again. Sarah, you are my wife, you're my best friend, you are my joy. Sarah, you are my person in this world. You're the answer to all the thoughts and the questions of who, who would it be, who am I looking for? You are the answer. And now it's my joy that I get to walk with Sarah through the rest of my life towards that joyous finish line on the edge of eternity one day. Well, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Please stand.
Callum, you may now kiss your bride. That was really, really good. That was such an amazing opportunity for all of us to give thanks for you guys, for your friendship and fellowship in the gospel, and just to be able to thank God as well. It's been, this is day's been a long time in coming, longer than the first time around. Um, but we really do want to thank God today for his faithfulness and his goodness to Calm and to Sarah and to all of us. If we love one another, God abides in us and his love is perfected in us. So we have come to know and to believe the love that God has for us. By this is love perfected with us. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. We thank you for bringing us all here together today to share the joy and the celebration for the union of Callum and Sarah. Here, we can ask for blessings on them together. God, we also pray that you will give them a kindness that they will care for each other in times of pain and sorrow and a serving heart to be put each other's need over their own. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, amen. But what a privilege, what a joy, what a joy it is to be here today, isn't it? Sarah and, and Calum, especially Sarah, has assured me that um, they actually have experienced the reality of true love. The very nature of true biblical love is that it's self-sacrificial. God's love for Calum and Sarah and God's love for us. This is God speaking. Isn't that good? He's going to tell us. This is how we know what love is. Jesus Christ laid down his life for us. Is that Calum and Sarah's love for one another is only possible, their love for one another, is only possible because of God's love for Calum and Sarah. Oh, you're, good, you're good folks. We love you. You're good folks. You look great, right? And the fact that you're good folks doesn't give the confidence that you're always going to be able to do this. What gives the confidence is that you're surrendered to Jesus Christ. Please welcome Mr. and Mrs. White. So, Callum. You're truly my brother, Callum. You're the one of the, the finest um, and most godly guys I know. And I'm so happy that it's been a year of, of love for each other and seeing you guys serve together, love each other more. And I couldn't, um, I just I saw a year ago and I'm so glad it's come with fruition. And I pray that you continue to seek God together, make him known. Sarah, you are such an amazing gift to Calm. how much he is growing to be more confident himself. And yet in that confidence, he's been able to share so much of his life with others that he might not have been able to do before. And as you seek the law degrees, I know that you are doing just that. You're seeking justice for those who don't have a voice. So we need more people like you. And I just pray that you continue with that, that you continue to be pro positive and really focus your attention on God and um, I love you both so may we raise another glass to the amazing couple of the whites as you all know it's unusual for a father-in-law to as it were or for father and mum-in-law to have a chance to as it were test drive a daughter-in-law and uh, we've had a chance to do that in the course of the last last year and uh, well you'll be pleased to hear that she's come up to scratch, that the proprietors of Kirkland Bridal uh, were not going to be looking to send her, her back. Seriously, uh, we've grown to know and love Sarah. She's been a star. We've loved that she has supported Cal over this past year. She's been, she's 
been supportive. She's encouraged him. And uh, I want to say thank you to her. And again, welcome to the White family. Anita and I are so happy to have Callum with us. We're a year on and he hasn't changed our opinion of that and we are so excited to see what the future has for the both of you. Our commitment to you is we'll keep praying for you. We will offer you whatever support that we can and we know though that behind anything we do before that you've got the Lord's help. He will be your helper. He'll be your shepherd. The Lord will bless you. The Lord will keep you. The Lord will make his face to shine upon you. The Lord will turn his face to you and the Lord will give you his peace. And we are so full of happiness about that and confidence in the days that lie ahead. Callum and Sarah. On behalf of my husband and I, <laughs> just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone for coming. Yeah, we just have a really special opportunity today to be able to not just have a speech about what we think our marriage will be like or take an opportunity to be excited about what marriage will be like, but we've actually been able to have this opportunity to speak about what our first year has been like and to acknowledge um, what real life marriage has been like. Now to my family, um, I genuinely can't put into words how much you all mean to me and how much I love you. Um, I am exactly the person I am because of you and everything that you've done in my life. Um, I, think, I think I've think i always just taken for granted how incredible our family is and how close we all are and how loving um, our relationship has been. And I think now that I've become an adult, I've recognized how rare that actually is. Dad, you've shown me what true unconditional love is and um, yeah, it's such a privilege. Um, we always joke that we're two peas in a pod, <laughs> um, but I don't think it's as random as I make it out to be, but I've been so influenced by you because of how proud I am to be your daughter. Mom, I have never in my life met someone as selfless as you. You have clothed us, fed us, taught us our whole lives and taken care of us. Um, you literally do everything for those around you and it's such a skill and a talent that I've been able to witness. Um, you have literally dedicated your entire life to putting yourself last. It's been an absolute privilege to grow up watching you and um, to be your daughter and to be loved and cared for by you. <laughs> Priscilla, you're my best friend literally from the moment I was born. You have been my cheerleader. You have always wanted the best for me, protected me, stood up for me. Um, you've always been there for me someone I can rely on and come to and trust and um, thank you for always opening up your home to me. To my girls, um, I'm gonna have to keep this very, very brief because once the stories start, they will literally not stop. So um, Amy, Catherine, Elise, um, you guys know how much I love you, how much I appreciate your friendship. I'm so thankful for everything that you've done for me, for being my best friends, for being my foundation, um, for making me the woman I am. That leads us on to Callum. This is our first annual review. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I ever said to you on our first date will probably be the last thing that I'll ever say to you, and that is that you are the kindest soul I have ever met. Your kindness is so core to who you are and how you live your life. It's not a persona that you put on or an attribute that you just boast of. Um, every day you choose to be kind and everyone around you knows that, everyone feels that. Um, your kindness is just such a constant that I can always rely on. And anyone who will have ever met you or will ever meet you can agree that you have this incredible gift of making everyone around you feel loved. When you walk into a room, everyone can feel that warmth and um, you're the first person looking to all the corners and chatting to all the people that are standing by themselves because that's exactly who you are. You give people your time, you ask questions because you genuinely care about the answers, you invest in people because you care for them and you pray for them. And I've seen that in, in you, in every circumstance, in all the relationships that you've built around you. Jesus just shines so brightly out of you and I think living with you this past year and walking through each day with you has brought me closer to the Lord. Um, you point me to Jesus every day and you have certainly linked arms with me as we've run this race together. Callum, you choose to love me, honor me, respect me and serve me every single day. And I know that in this marriage, I'm fully known and fully loved. And I'm so proud of you. 
I'm so proud of the new job that you've just begun. I'm so proud to be Mrs. White. And I can't wait to see where our lives take us and what we'll do together for the Lord. I am well and truly head over heels for you. So let's all just raise a glass to my husband, to Cal. Yay!